Hey, good morning everybody. This is Pastor Dave. Greetings from the open, wide open tent that remains on the ground. Uh, so thankful for everybody that has always helped get this place uh, ready for uh, worship here at the tent and that's going to be coming up. We hope to have our first service here on Sunday, May 7th. As always, Chris might be able to show you the sign there. Sunday's 10 a.m. Uh, will always be the time of the service. Right now we're meeting at the building and we're looking forward to an amazing week coming up. I want to step over here and it feels, uh, feels good to step up on the, on the stage here. We do plan to actually increase the stage and it's just too small for all the musicians that we now have. Uh, I do want to talk to you a little bit about this coming Sunday, April 2nd. First and foremost, before I do that, you are probably wondering, are we doing the work day tomorrow at the tent? We're not, because it is supposed to be raining and raining and being very windy tomorrow. So we're going to put everything off till Saturday, April 15th. That will be the next work day, and everything we plan to do tomorrow, we will consolidate into the 15th. From the 15th through May 7th, we will be prepping the, to get this tent ready, and we will need several additional days of helpers. We probably, I talked to somebody this morning, we'd probably need at least six to 10 men uh, the day that we put the tent up. It's just a lot of physically heavy work, but we'll be keeping you posted, but mark your calendar right now, and we'll probably have more information on the 15th of when the tent's gonna go up, but it's gonna be a full day of uh, Saturday beginning about 9 a.m. on the 15th, come over here and we'll serve you coffee and refreshments and then we'll get to work this coming Sunday at the church building right after service we have a safety and security meeting that is to do everything that we can going forward to make sure that whether it's at the building or here at the tent that we run a very safe and tight operation on Sundays we don't want to be taken uh, by surprise so and that could be anything from medical emergencies as well. So if you have a medical background and you can uh, be with us this Sunday after service for the safety and security meeting in the fellowship hall, uh, we're going to talk about uh, perimeter security, doorways, access points, um, ways of alerting people should we have a problem. Um, if we ever have a medical emergency, more than just calling 911, if we have people who have nursing backgrounds, medical backgrounds, we would want you to come to this meeting. It's an opportunity for you to serve the Lord too. It's great in those moments where you see somebody who knows how to properly administer either first aid or just uh, you know, providing for their needs at that, at that critical moment. So uh, that's all this Sunday right after service. But let's get to this coming Sunday's service. I will be teaching Sunday school on Sunday, this Sunday, on Palm Sunday. Uh, Trevor will be preaching the message, and I'm looking forward to hearing Trevor preach. He's got a great message about the triumphal em entry of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem. The scripture that I'm going to be sharing from this Sunday is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ, and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place because of Christ's triumphal entry and his crucifixion and his resurrection, you and I have everything we need now to live a triumphant life in Christ. And do you realize God wants to use you, you, in every situation where you could bring his presence? We're going to talk about that Sunday at 9.15. We're heading into Holy Week, so that means we're going to have special services um, towards the end of next week. Bible studies are on women's Bible study at 9.30 and then in the evening, and then men's Bible study on Wednesday morning. Uh, prayer meeting Wednesday night, we have a lot to pray about. And then Good Friday, here's the theme, come to the cross again. So that's the invitation for next Friday night service, come to the cross again. I want you to go with me to the cross next Friday night. Uh, it's going to be a remarkable service. We're going to have the Lord's Supper. We're going to do some things that I really believe are going to get us ready to so appreciate what Jesus did for us. And then Easter Sunday, let's go to the tomb again. And that's going to be awesome. So two great things. And I remind you that there are invitations at the church. You should pick them up this Sunday if you want to invite somebody to either Good Friday or next Sunday morning. Uh, we'll uh, make sure that you're, you know, have, have a... a invitation to take with you to spread the word. We will have a pre-Easter service 
um, not really a brunch, but lots of refreshments that can be enjoyed before service and after. So get there on time, get your seats early, invite a friend, and we'll look forward to having a great day next Sunday, all this next week, and we'll keep you posted on all the details coming up. Have a great day.